guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is part of a series for X-Plane 11 flyers who are considering the HP Reverb G2 for flying in VR. I'll be describing my experience of overall frame performance and visual clarity flying popular X-Plane 11 aircraft with the G2 using my PC configuration as the baseline. My hope is to give X-Plane 11 users an idea of what to expect using the G2 with X-Plane 11. Let's start with my hardware configuration. Here are my G2, SteamVR, and X-Plane 11 5.2 settings. I'll be conducting all flight tests out of Juno International Airport using Ortho4XP scenery at base zoom level 16. Let's define what I mean by frame performance. To me, this is the degree of smoothness of flight or level of stuttering experience while flying in VR. For VR sim flying, 30 frames per second is normally ample unless you're barnstorming at high speeds with lots of close objects in view. Often overlooked though, frame time is an important metric for smoothness of flight. With X-Plane 11, the type of CPU, GPU, RAM, and disk use all have an effect on frame performance. X-Plane 11 tends to be CPU centric, so the more cores you feed it, the smoother the performance is going to be. I recently upgraded it from a 4 to 8 core CPU and saw a big improvement in frame performance. Your results will vary, of course, depending on your PC configuration. You'll see both frame time and FPS on the screen during these tests. The image is the X-Plane 11 desktop view for VR. I've minimized all other apps and screens, so resources are available for X-Plane 11 and the G2. I'll be describing what I see in the G2 VR headset. Alright guys, today I'll be test flying the stock C-172 with G-1000. I thought this would be a good aircraft to start with since it's really so widely used amongst uh, X-Plane uh, pilots. I'm going to be going back, back and forth between describing visual clarity and frame performance as I see it as we go through the test flight. And you can see the metrics on the upper left there that gives you the information um, available as I'm flying. And again, I'm in the HP Reverb G2. And here we go. I can tell you, just taxing here, the motion is extremely smooth. The visuals are excellent, very crisp and clear. I can easily read the markers of the runway and see the lines and actually the flaws in the pavement, or the, I should say the paint on the pavement. It's very, very visible. So we're going to taxi over here, take off and do a quick uh, flight. The scenery in the distance looks fantastic very clear and crisp as best as you would expect and you know I really I'm maybe noticing a tiny bit of micro stuttering but that's about it as far as that we'll just stop here and hold short here and I'll give you a uh, overview of the panel here panel view so I'm sitting here One second here, let me just get myself lined up here and we'll get those brakes off. Or it brakes on, I should say. Okay, as I stop here and just take a look, sitting back in my seat, I can easily read all of the text on both uh, the PFD and the MFD and all the dials, as well as even the small text on the, the fuse panel and the switches, just by turning my head. Now, we know the G2 has a sweet spot. But as long as, even if I have the sweet spot centered here, I can look to the right here. Um, I'm going to use my, um, use this to point out. So my sweet spot is looking like right here, and I can just move my eyes and look here and still make it out. It's a little fuzzy, but as I move the sweet spot there, it's absolutely perfectly visible. All right, so, so no problem just sitting back. I don't have to lean in to read anything. It's extremely um, 
clear, I should say. All right, this is a great, a really authentic experience. It's, I'm sorry for the, for the bit of giggling here, but it's just, it's just fantastic. All right, so we're going to line up here. I can easily see the tire tracks and rubber marks on the, the runway there, uh, the fading of the, the, the center line. In the distance there, those snowy peaks, I can make those out pretty well. The trees in the distance as well. Uh, those buildings over to the right there are very well defined and easy to make out as buildings. And to the left, we have the windsock right there, which is easy to see as well. Looking down and just right on the pavement, I can see the gravel in the asphalt, uh, very defined. So just to give you an idea. And the clouds above, uh, they seem a bit fuzzy. Uh, they are in the distance there, a bit fuzzy as I try to get the sweet spot locked in there. But uh, let's take off now. All right, so we're going to throttle up here, flaps down to take off. And I'm sensing, I'm feeling no uh, stuttering at all. Very smooth frame rate. I should say frame time. And as we get up to 70 knots, we'll... And that was, that's super smooth. What an authentic experience. Just turning my head left and right and looking at the visuals. I noticed a little bit of micro stuttering but still the um, immersion factor is very, very high. And as I get up here now at about 300 feet, I can start to make out more definition in those snowy peaks out there, which is probably, looking at the thing, it's probably a good uh, 20 miles away, maybe 15, 20 miles away. So that's easy to make out. And if I'm going to turn here, up towards the um, the glacier and I could make definitely see definition of the glacier and as I look down the buildings are all well defined easy to make out and again the fact that the immersion factor is super high so again we're still in very smooth frame time if you will so the the feeling is fantastic we're just going to do a quick short flight here so you have a lot of scenery on, around here which is why i picked it you know you've got a lot of trees you've got a lot of buildings you've got mountains you've got a lot of stuff for explain to process so it's kind of why i picked this area to give you a good feel for what it's like with the hp reverb g2 on the settings that i have so we're going to make our left hand turn here go out a little bit over these trees now I'm still get, I'm getting a little bit of stuttering as we make the turn it seems to be no stuttering as you look ahead very smooth to the left as the ground moves by and if I look to the right it's the same very smooth again this is non-scientific I'm telling you I'm giving you a feeling for what I see and feel as I'm flying this plane as I look down I'm still I move my head I don't notice any jerkiness whatsoever it's a smooth transition from left to right even if I move fast it's still the same very smooth so this stock C172 performs very well with the G2 with the settings that I have in my configuration again you gotta remember I'm running a 1080 Ti which is an older graphics card um, it's got a high amount of VRAM, 11 gigs of VRAM, but it's, you know, it's probably, you know, it's, 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 it's certainly not uh, the fastest GPU available, and I'm getting very, very, very good uh, immersion and, and good um, um, smooth frame rates, I should say, Fru frame time, if you will. All right, so we're going to come in here, we're going to, we're going to land here now. This is very realistic, no stuttering, smooth as silk, get those flaps up, or down I should say. I can make out all the buildings at Juno Airport easily, there's no fuzz factor. It's very, very crisp and clear. Anti-aliasing's a little bit there, now you can remember I have it like on the middle setting, so 
uh, that's going to you know have some factor certainly on GPU usage but uh, this is a, a great experience and as I'm doing this I feel like I'm floating down to the ground I have no no real hesitation and it's a smooth frame time there with those brakes an all in all fantastic experience I will taxi over here as we start to get into thicker scenery I notice a little bit of micro stuttering not much a little bit And as I look to the right, that all moves by very smoothly. Same to the left. That's moving smoothly. We'll just come over here and park in, uh, in the transient parking. So these videos are meant to be quick tests of these planes, just to give you an idea. Uh, so you don't have to watch through hours of video just to get an idea of how that your favorite plane might be uh, behaving with the G2. That's the whole idea of this. So we'll just park in this spot right here. And that's it. So a very pleasant experience, very immersive, probably, well, I should say the best VR experience I've ever had in this plane, in X-Plane 11. So that should probably tell you right there. I've been doing this for about four years. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's test flight. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a fantastic day.